How's it going YouTube? Today we got a Caviso exclusive. Which I think is pretty cool. They brand their band-aids and send them out. Great marketing strategy. We got the Best Tech Bandit. Brown Micarta. It's a smaller knife with a flipper tab. Got Japanese Tonto stonewashed blade and N690, which is hard to see. It's right there. Like I said, this is a Caviso exclusive, and um, they've been out for a while. They're down. They're on sale. So I figured I'd pick one up. They're on sale for $39 shipped, which I thought was a great deal for N690, so I picked it up. This knife's uh, got some positive things to it, but overall, I don't really like it. Let's see. Decent access to the lock bar. It sticks out a bit. Okay, action. Flipper tab, which you can fail, but it's it's not bad. And this hole in the blade is kind of disappointing because unless you really, really try, you can't reverse flick it. It's got a deep carry clip with the uh, inset screws, non reversible. Knife measures in at six and a half inches, so it's closer to a fifth pocket carry. Let's weigh it. Two point seven ounces. So it's pretty light. It is a small knife. Um, flat ground blade. It's not the thinnest stock. But I'd say it's right in the middle. Didn't come very sharp though. You got T8s right here, and the rest of them are T6s. And then my card is really smooth. Might as well be G10. Alright, let's talk about what I like about it first. It's got a great price $39. Um, N690 still, it's not D2, the 14C28, it's got a unique blade shape, which is something I normally wouldn't buy, but I thought it looked good, aesthetically. Now let's get into all my dislikes, which could be different for you. Well, let's, first let's uh, do a size comparison. Compare it to my only other best technos. Got the Cubis. The best tech Monroan, which it's smaller than both of them. These are more of an accurate the mini praxis. Ugh. Mini Praxis and uh, Mini Beluga, baby, whatever it's called, Mini Beluga, Petrify Fish. I'd say it's about the same size as the Mini Praxis, just a little bit smaller than the Beluga. Uh, let's get into the list of stuff I don't like about it. For one, this micarta. It's probably the worst micarta I've seen. I don't know if you can see that. There's no texture. It just looks like there's texture. Um, another thing is this hole. Like if you were going to put a hole in the blade, leave some room so you could get to it. Like you gotta use a fingernail and it hurts to flick it. 
If you're gonna put a backspacer in your off, make it match. Black G10. They could have put a micarta backspacer easily. They did the same thing in their Cubis. So I don't get it. But in their budget brand they did it right. Sharpening tool. It's non existent, so it's already starting to get a smile. Got T6 body screws, which no one likes. Yeah, that's about all of them. I'm all right with the pocket clip. But yeah, this is not necessarily a bad knife, it's just got some flaws. It may be for you. But I probably won't carry it too much. So if you like this video, subscribe. I'll leave a link down below.